Kyle has a Kyle has a bright pink phone case, and now he says it's his wife's. Sure. Yeah, we believe sure, you. Sure. Sure. Sure, sure. Sure. And you also look. here with bright orange tackies on. The other way. What is he doing? Wait, he's he's going to the gate to to throw his cigarette away, get rid of the evidence. <laughs> hey, you're not smoking in your parents' house. We're not gonna smell your fingers. <laughs>
Pat McAfee on the WrestleMania roster, have him fight against Corey Graves. That makes more sense. The winner gets raw commentary or the winner gets to stay on whichever brand he wants. I don't know, make a stipulation. That makes more sense. The winner gets a YouTube show. Exactly, there you go. Which money? (laughs) (laughs) Comella on a pole match, there we go. Uh, (laughs) Oh, he's already writing his book as well now. (laughs) My next book, (laughs) I'm paying on you, memoir. Anyway, with that being said, uh, looking at this match, all the aspect, it's either going to be an Austin Theory win clean, or Pat McAfee is going to win with the help of someone. And I'm going to say with someone, that froze it. You guys are okay? You froze there, Bullet. You're frozen. Oh, there you go. You're back. Did, did you hear anything I said? Yes, we heard everything you said. Okay. Well, that's good. Just carry on. Yeah, so I think Pat McAfee will probably pick up the victory. I do think there's going to be a some sort of shenanigan because it's WWE. Um, but yeah, I think McAfee will pick up the victory. Gives him a bit of a pop as well. Uh, Austin Theory, I feel, can afford a loss and then move on. I think... Pat McAfee losing doesn't make sense anyway. Like, what is he going to lose? And then come back to commentary and be a sad, sulking person? I don't think it's going to happen. I think he's going to win. I think he's going to become a lot more arrogant on the microphone. And uh, I think him and Paul, him and Michael Cole will then both share a WrestleMania victory. <laughs> Did you know that, Carl? That, Paul, that Michael Cole has won a match <laughs> yeah, at WrestleMania? Yeah, did, did, uh, King. Was he King? He's Jerry uh, well, no, Carlos like he had the whole screen around him, right? The anonymous GM was around him back then. Wow. Who did he beat? Who did he beat at WrestleMania? King. Jerry the King Lola. Look at him. Oh, wow. He knows something. He knows something, at least. <laughs> Drum was in his prime at that point. Uh, yeah, it was off. He was in his prime at that point, see? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. This is like... <laughs> You're talking about uh, King being in his prime no, at that no, point? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 60 is your prime. Yeah. Rick Flair wow. is currently in his prime. Yeah. <laughs> prime number of marriages. <laughs> hey, he's getting divorced again. He got divorced already. Ooh, that was quick. Number five. That's what I say. Prime number of marriages. He's got marriage. He's a maid. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Carl, give us your prediction on Theory McAfee. Yeah, uh, it would be very McAfee. weird. If you say McAfee one more time, I'm going to pull hair out because... Are you saying it on purpose? Maybe he's talking about your, like, computer stuff. Yeah, that type of thing. Pat McAfee. It's <laughs> going to be virus. It's going to be very weird if Pat McAfee wins clean because Austin Theory is, of course, the, he's the wrestler. But Austin Theory well, is also very young and very early in his career, so he can he can lose. Um, so yeah, I agree. Pat wins with some shenanigans. Someone's going to come out. I heard Finn Balor here. I'm sure he's going to expand a bit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, nothing much more to be said about this. Please let this only be a couple minutes and let's move on. The girls just, need, need some time. Let me ask you something. Paul. When you talk about like shenanigans or someone interfering on the male side, obviously, because females are always going to be Alexa Bliss interfering in anything. Mm-hmm. But for, except when it actually comes to Elimination Chamber and you're supposed to pick her and you didn't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've got a question for you. When, when it comes to the men's wrestlers and you don't, not predict an interference, do you yeah. just draw a name out of a hat and then just say a random person's name and hope that comes true? Or you just, like, copy my answers? Yes. Because <laughs> Finn Balor... Nothing to do with SmackDown whatsoever. Just, he mentioned Finn. He mentioned Finn, so sure. No, because yeah. Finn, that, that's how they're going to keep the, the the IC thing going on. Because I'm going to just jump in here and rescue Kyle for a change. I don't know. Like, I'm going to try and rescue Kyle from himself. Let me just... Have, have you not watched it? Damien Priest or Rhodes. Damien... Yeah, Cody Rhodes is going to return in this spot. No, What's the theory of probably have to later? Cody Rhodes is gonna he's gonna return in this spot, Cody. Yeah. And then he's gonna feud with Vince. Yeah. And Vince's guy yeah. is gonna be Austin Theory. Yeah, that's it. That's my call. But Pat's gonna win. Jeremy. <laughs> Give us your prediction. 
Jeremy's gonna have a headache. <laughs> I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Already. It's a big cloud shape headache. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, kidding. Look, the only the, the thing that makes sense for me with this whole thing is that Pat's gonna win. Um, obviously, yeah, they're gonna do they're gonna do something. The demon returns. The demon slithers out from underneath the ring, full makeup, everything else, and costs, um, costs yeah. theory. Uh, theory. Uh, 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 theory is about to go into the rope. He's going to do like a big frog splash. The demon's going to come out and the ring's going to break. No, no, the <laughs> top rope breaks. And we finally get yeah. an answer. We finally get an answer for what happened. Against uh, against Roman, we finally know why the rope broke. It was a theory all along. It was me. Oh, it was it me. Was I have along. a theory. <laughs> you know right. what? Uh, I, think they, I think they actually missed an opportunity with this because if this was the nineties, Austin Theory would have come out in like a Lanny Puffo type gear with with the whole cap and everything else, cap and gown, and he would have come out. I have a theory. <laughs> you guys know that would have happened. I don't know who Lenny is. Yeah. Started every uh, single pro. I have a theory. Guaranteed. I have a theory. I have a theory. You would have started off every single promo like that. Guaranteed. Lenny Puffo, just FYI, is Randy Macho Man Savage's brother. He he, yes. he was the genius for a while. Okay. Okay, well, yeah, he, he lost. <laughs> he beat the gardener as well. He beat the gardener as well. <laughs> no, this yeah. is not South African wrestling. Vaz has been watching me. I've been taking notes again. <laughs> so, Carry here on. we go. I like, I, 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 I'm still trying to figure out why Austin Theory calls himself Austin Theory. And where did the theory come along? I know he's been calling himself that since he, since he was in Evolve, so I'm sure we'll get an answer down the line. And if anybody watched NXT, I'm not sure if it was, I think it was NXT War Games two years ago. The line that we're referencing, he actually did say when he came out in a little cape and he helped Johnny Gargano win. At the end, as they were backing up the ramp, he said, it was me, Austin. It was me all yeah, along, yeah. Was, Austin. Uh, was Halloween, never. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. When, when he lost, um, um, what's his name? The the North American title. Um, he didn't lose it. He won it. He, he retained it because of all no. the Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. lost Priest the title at that point. Remember? It's Leon Ruff. Real, Leon, Leon Ruff. Ruff. Yeah, that's that. He, he won it from Leon Ruff. There we go. Yes, because maybe he lost two weeks before in Leon Ruff's first ever match. Yeah, and then he won it back. It was Halloween Havoc, I think. Yeah. One of those. It's like it was one of those. Teams pay-per-views yeah, yeah. Mm. And on the point of how you pronounce his surname i really don't care i'm just going to call him pat cafe i don't know pat pat cafe whatever you, whatever you guys want to want to call him as some of them you probably changed to like pat yeah pat, pat at, at, this point in time, at this point in time there's a mcdonald's tie-in coming in at some point <laughs> pat <McCoy. laughs> Mac commentary or something. Pat, Pat McCaffrey. Da, 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 da. I'm loving it. <laughs> this whole match is a shenanigan. That's that's what this is. This whole entire match is a shenanigan. <laughs> you're right. not going to get it. Right. The match is a shenanigan. Yeah, and I, I like how we brought up the WrestleMania 27 commentators match. But honestly speaking, if I were to see. Pat McAfee versus uh, Corey Graves. I I would be disappointed because not because they're not they're good wrestlers, but it just takes me back to the whole. I don't know if you remember the tuxedo match with Howard Finkel or the no, other. No 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 no. That was not a match. Okay no no no. That's, that's, that that's was something. It, it wasn't a match. Not a you, match. Okay. You're using that word a bit too liberally. We don't count. Okay, we don't yeah. count stupid things like that. Let me get some Corey Graves and Pat McAfee, if they had a match, what would be the point behind the match? Just to get commentary? That, for me, would be the stupidest storyline ever. I'm, I'm not saying... Like, I haven't thought the whole details of why there would be commentary, but it makes more sense than Austin Theory having a match against Pat. I, I literally have no interest in Pat McAfee wrestling. Nice. I'm giving it to him because he performed so and well not, at War Games. not watch War Games. And he performed oh, so oh, well at oh, oh. 
they actually made a match for Survivor Series for the for the T-shirt battle. Nash has just seen it. Yeah, when, when, when the red shirts versus the blue shirts at Survivor Series, that's the match. That's the match. Yeah. Team versus team, like John, Team Teddy versus Team yeah. Johnny. So the that two commentators going head to head at Survivor Series. Yeah, yeah. there's two teams. It would be better. Yeah. But these two guys against each other. This whole match was just Austin Theory getting him on the card because Vince McMahon loves him like a son, basically. That, that's how Why I know Austin it. Theory. Austin awesome Theory, yeah. yeah. Loves him like a son. Vince yeah. McMahon loves him like a son. Yeah. So that's the whole point of it. Oh, no, Vince McMahon yeah. loves Austin Theory like a son. Kyle, do you know about him at any point now? Legitimate son? <laughs> One swaggle. Because he said it. <laughs> You're just copying what Vaz said. <laughs> if he hadn't said that, I bet you would be lost. Anyway, he's coming back to it. This match, I have absolutely no ooh, interest ooh. in. And Thank you. You just gave me an idea. Cool. That's who's going to interfere in the match. <laughs> Vince McMahon's illegitimate son, Holmes Waddle. He's going to come out from his house under the ring. And help Shane, McMahon. Shane McMahon comes out and he goes like this and that and does that whole thing. And then here comes money. And I'm my father's wheel, son. And whoo, look at me. I can do this. I can do this. Look at my arm. And my puppy. Shane, Shane McMahon comes out and his bro- robot gets broken on the way down to the ring. I don't see Pat McAfee winning, actually. I actually see Austin Theory winning because this is good. what's going to win him over with Vince McMahon. And Pat McAfee, if he loses and goes back to commentary, it's actually going to be a good story because, and I mentioned this back at, I think, I'm not sure if it was Full Gear or All Out, where we were all predicting Jericho to lose against MJF where we all said that if Jericho goes back to commentary as losing to MJF, it would tell a great story on commentary. I think the same about Pat McAfee. I know Daz is getting upset because I'm bringing up all bad memories and bad wounds, but anyways, you actually... Let's, let's, let's not forget it. On record, you can't go back to the He actually said Jericho was going to lose, and he's the biggest Jericho fan right here. But anyways, <laughs> come back to... That, that's that's the blue <laughs> <don't smile. laughs> And when he gets the commentary, he's going to actually tell a good story. He's going to be like, I was in the ring with Austin Theory and I can tell how great a wrestler he is. It's going to be a good way for him to build on Austin Theory's legitimacy. The man legit beat Adam Cole. You think he cares about Austin Theory? <laughs> regardless, <laughs> regardless, I think it's going to be Austin that's, that's Theory. For- all right, let's let's move on before you upset me even more. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Guys, do you think that this match being put together the way it was was actually supposed to have been Shane McMahon's spot? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. 100%. That, because it feels that way if you think about it, if you think about it the way Shane 100%. left and everything else. This was where Shane was supposed to dive off something. Yeah, 100%. Actually, you made me think of something because Cody Rose was in AEW and he was like the main guy in AEW. He's coming over to WWE. Shane McMahon being one of the core WWE guys in terms of being Vince McMahon's son uh, going to uh, AEW. Uh, no, 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 no. Exactly. No, I know where he's going. How many others? I, I know where he's going. Okay, no. Finish now. Speak, speak. Yeah, there we go. There's, there's your target audience right here. There he is. This is what's going to happen, Carl. I'm telling you now. Tony Khan is going to be in the ring at AEW, and then it's going to split screens. And then you're going to see <laughs> Shane McMahon's face standing outside a building, and he'll be like, I know. Ring of Honor was bought, Tony Khan, <laughs> but not by you. <laughs> By me! <laughs> the name on the contract says Khan, but not Tony Khan. And then the other <laughs> Nick Khan shows up is like, ha ha! <laughs> the other Khan! <laughs> was national. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's, that's what pres- way too much wrestling, guys. <laughs> yes. We want way too much wrestling. That'll be cool. I don't know. <laughs> at all. <laughs> He missed uh, the best days of Eddie Guerrero. And like Stephanie McMahon's gonna bite the impact and then the uh, Battle Invasion. <laughs> the best invasion ever. Missing all the top guys in each company. 
Anyway, let's move on to the women's tag team championship match. For those that don't know, we've got the champions Zelina Vega and Carmella taking on the newly formed tag team of Sasha Banks and uh, Naomi, taking on the newly formed tag team of Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan, taking on the newly reformed tag team of Natalia and Shayna Baszler. That's what we have. Now, I say reformed because they were a tag team and then Tamina's came in and then now they became a tag team again. It's very weird. Shayna and Natalia. I don't care about this match. I have zero interest in this tag match. You guys know my my thoughts on tag team match. match. You know my thoughts about Carmella. I think she is completely useless in the ring. Uh, Zanila, I like. I like Zelina as an in-ring competitor. She's great. I think she's very underutilized when it comes to this. But I'll give you my thoughts in a bit. Let's start with Kyle on this one. Um, because, well, you haven't spoken in a while, Kyle. Because let, let's bring you in. Yeah. Let's, I'm just out of my yeah. depth with a lot of the stuff you guys are saying. So... But, but this, I know this stuff. I know this match. <laughs> oh, I know the people are here. Now, it's it, it's good to see that this tag team title is finally being used for something. And if you look at it, it's all the the mid-card ladies who are all featuring here. Um, I think the only thing that could probably make this thing better is if Natalia was replaced with, I don't know, Alexa Bliss, for example. Um, who didn't see that one coming? <laughs> uh, I really well, like the tag I like the tag team of Rhea, Rhea and um, uh, Liv. That entrance looks sick. They both look really hot in in leather. With it, just it looks cool. They have to win this match. I want to see that on my screen every week. Um, I hope Robin in this chat. She's she's a Liv fan through and through. She is so she will not mind. Um, I guess they're all right. I guess they're giving Sasha Banks a spot. But it's weird if you just he's next. Um, yeah, this just shows how little depth this women's division has got. That effectively, if you take the two main events away or the two world championship matches away, this is what's best. This is what's left. And it's very, very sad or sad to see that this is this is where we are. So I'm hoping Liv and, and, and Rhea win. Um, I'm not sure. Is this an elimination match or is it first pinfall? One for finish. One for finish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then let's pin Natalia and... Uh, yeah. What, do they have a name, Rhea and, and Liv? Or are they just Rhea and Liv? Oh, no, they, they do have a name. Have a it's name? called um, Live for Brutality or something else. Live okay, for well, I live for brutality. Yes, yes, yeah. I know that. Pat, Pat actually may call them that. Yes, Pat, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to put it as Live for oh, Brutality. No, no, yeah. no, no. It's not Live for Brutality, which would have worked. It's Live for A Brutality. That... That's what's the A for? It's I, I could tell you what the A for, almost. but then we'll get banned. I, I could tell you what that A is for. The A is for almost. Jeremy, give me your prediction on this one. Now let me tell you why he's wrong. Who did you go with, by the way? You don't, you're saying I'm wrong. You don't even know who I went with. Who did you go with? Because I know you're wrong. Really? Live for A brutality. I live for a brutality. Either way, you're wrong. Okay. So first of all, let's start from the top, right? Seth Rollins has been trying for weeks now to get on WrestleMania, right? Mm. He's been trying for weeks mm. to get on WrestleMania. Yeah. He's fought his best friend to get on WrestleMania. Nothing's happening. Natalia and her brand new tag team partner that hasn't had a tag team partner ever, 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 ever. They've never worked tag team before. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. she's never. Nobody's ever been in a tag team. And Shayna Baszler has never dominated at an elimination chamber ever. The rant is coming, guys. There's, there's it. There it is. Wait, so just to be clear before you start, who has never had a tag team partner? Shayna Baszler. What? Never had a tag team partner. Nia no, Jax. Never. Was Shana... Who's that? Nia Jax. <laughs> and she's never won an elimination chamber eliminating every single person ever before. Oh. Never happened before. Carry on. <laughs> but they come onto SmackDown. They jump people. They go to the back. Guess what? We now are on WrestleMania. Why hasn't Seth Rollins just decided, let me jump somebody and I'll get on WrestleMania that way? No, no, it doesn't work that way because we're on two different TV channels or something. That, that That's the first thing that annoyed me about this. Because Seth Rollins did not mess with Sonya Deville. Why didn't Seth Rollins, like, jump, I don't know, I can call or somebody, anybody. He could have literally jumped anybody. 
some one some of the production guys from the back. Yeah, but anyway. Stand. But anyway, um, let me just close this off before I go too deep into the grass or into the reeds. I I I don't know. I even though they did that whole uh, that whole angle a few weeks back where Selena and and um, Selena and her tag team partner Camelo, Camela, whatever the hell, Melo, Camelo, 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 the new confusing the uh, North American cruiserweight champion. But and then again, let, let me just point something out because I know this was this is an opportunity to to dig at Nash. Who would have thought from the three people that started in that stable that <laughs> that she would have been the only person left? <laughs> Me. And you can't change that. <laughs> but she didn't come up to the main roster with him, right? No, she came up later. Yeah, she came later. So who are you going with? Who are you going for the win? Guys. Froze again on our side. Yeah. No, no, we're still here. Still here. Yeah, I got you back. Yeah. No, we're here. You could literally I pick a name, a name out of a hat. Um, um, I don't think the title is going to stay. I think the title will change. You know what? Let me go with the sentimental favorite for a change. Let me pick who I really want to win this. I'm going to go with Sasha and Naomi. Obvious reasons. Okay. You guys know me well enough to know why I picked those two. All right, obviously. Nashville, you're next. Are you going to go with your sentimental favorites too? Yeah. Actually not. Don't oh. log in my, my predictions yet. I have got a lot to say. Jeremy, you're next. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get you back for that one. I, I, I swear, Mo. And then you too, Baz. Look, I saw the opportunity and I took it. Okay? Smelly animal. And I'm going to get you too, Baz. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you, you, Jeremy, you talked about going too deep into the grass. I hope it's the kind of grass I know of and not the other kind of grass that I'm thinking about. But anyway, we're going to we'll stay away from that topic. Family show. Family, family, family show, show. Family show. And... Um, how can you guys say that Carmella is not great? On, okay, she's okay. She isn't. She isn't great in the ring as a wrestler. On the mic, she's screechy. Because we have but these have things called eyes that we can see. Have you guys, have you guys forgotten? Mella is money. That storyline was that absolutely bad. too quickly. Which thing that was worth? Mr. Chinless, the guy with no chin. Yeah, that was a great storyline. So Mela is not money right now, but she was money back then. Don't don't do that to me, Kyle. Don't you smack your hands? There, there, there was a fly. There was literally a fly. Don't you slate my broadcast partner Please. over here, Excalibur. And, and 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 Kyle, how dare you refer to Sasha Banks as a mid carder? Alexa Bliss is a mid carder. Now take that, okay? Coming yes, back to main events. Yes. So she's a mid carder. Yes. Zip it yes. before I, I mean, Chris yes. Jericho. We should, you want me have, Jericho again? we should literally have a podcast where we let these two guys argue the entire time and we just sit back and think <laughs> the entire time. I just told it now. Alexa Bliss actually has more titles on the main roster than what Satchel Banks does. Don't get, I will bring up Jericho again. Do not start. I will Alexa bring up Jericho. Bliss also has more black goo than anybody else on the roster. Can I just point it out? Edge has more black goo than anyone else on the roster. But did it come out his brain? No. No, that's what I thought. <laughs> that, that, that coming from the guy who claims to be the biggest Alexa Bliss fan who didn't choose her when it mattered the most. So, Kyle. You're never going to live that down, man. You're never going to live that down. We're never going to let that one go. So, coming back to the match, <laughs> this match actually shows how shallow the women's roster in yeah. WWE really yeah. is. No, you're right. You got people, what I said. Correct. Ten minutes ago. Correct. Don't belong in a tag team who are just smacked together as a tag team just for the sake of a tag team having a match. 
Mm. Now, in this match, we've got two heel tag teams and we've got two face tag teams. Now, the one heel tag team of Carmella and Zelina Vega, I see them breaking up after WrestleMania or even the big split happening at WrestleMania. Because remember, Corey Graves and Carmella are going on vacation right after WrestleMania. Mm. Plus, I see Zelina Vega needing to further her queen gimmick more. So I, I don't see them winning. I don't see them retaining. However, I don't see Sasha Banks and Naomi winning, okay? I know I know Jeremy's a big Naomi fan. I'm a big Sasha Banks fan, but I don't see them winning. Neither do I see Kyle's prediction of live for a brutality winning either. I see Natalia and Shayna Baszler winning because look at it this way. If you have one of the face teams winning, they literally only have one other face team one other heel team to work with. Whereas if you have the heel team win, they got two face teams to work with after WrestleMania. It makes more sense in terms of continuity. So I'm going with Natalia and Sheena Baszler for the win on this one. All right. I'm going to tell you one that is wrong. Here we go. <laughs> He's saying they're retaining. <laughs> First of all, the only time Carmella was good, the only time Carmella was good, is when she spelled the word soft wrong. I so badly want to leave, but I want to... <laughs> Facts. All right. How, how would you Sick. spell that? How, how would you spell that? S-A-W-F-T. S-A-W-F-T. Soft. I swear, if any of you mention... is like right there. It's literally, you can just hit it at random. It's it's there. Bada bing! <laughs> Realest guy in the room. <laughs> if any of you mention that again, you doing? we'll all bend the knee and pay your respects to the king of the cruiserweights. <laughs> the guy that looked like an elf, the guy that looked like, the guy that literally like looked Hobbit, yeah. like he ran off from the set of Lord of the Rings, that guy, <laughs> that guy, the blind guy, I can't see anything. anything. That dude. Anyway. Let's get back to why Hamish is going to be wrong. And I think Kyle is going to be wrong on his prediction for the tag team match. So I agree with you, though. Zelina and Carmella are going to break. They, they've been teasing it for a long time. Her and Corey just got married. They're going to go on honeymoon. They're going to be away. This makes sense. I get that. They're not going to win this title match. However, I do see Sasha Banks and Naomi winning it. In the sense that it's going to continue Naomi and Shayna Bay, uh, her Tonya Deville storyline. Isn't so, that storyline No, it's still oh, carrying yeah. on, believe it or not. Yeah, it's still going. It should be um, and it's going to end with Sonia Deville looking for a tag team partner and someone like Mandy Rose is going to come back. So you're saying Mandy Rose is going to drop the NXT title at uh, no, San Antonio? No, that's not I'm, I'm ignoring I'm ignoring it. I'm just, you know, as as a fly would come past, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's that's me and Kyle. Yeah? It's like this for now. So I'm, I'm not saying a that legitimate champion. She could literally go anywhere and do anything, and it, you would believe it. Alexa Bliss. The only thing we'll believe from her is that black goop comes out of her brain. That that's it. Anyway, so I'm just saying I'm using Manny Rose as an example. It's going to force her into to find a tag team partner. And become a tag team wrestler to add another team to the That's where I see this going. Um, maybe someone like Lacey Evans even coming back um, and joining Sonya Deville to take up Naomi. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Just, I'm just thinking random names. But you know. What's that? Mandy Rose. Who was Sonya? Sonya Deville's previous tag team partner was Mandy Rose. Yeah, though, absolution. Right? Absolution. Yeah. They were under page. That's what. Just I just picked random names now. Just maybe even someone from NXT. I'm not doing it. Shotzi. What's she doing? Oh, yeah, Shotzi. Oh, yes, thing. that could work. Yeah. Shotzi and Sonny Deville would be a great tag team, I think, actually. Yeah. Yes, but anyway, that, yeah. That that's what I see this going. That could be amazing. Sonny Deville will be GM for much longer. I think she will become an in ring competitor again and will form a tag team with someone and challenge Sasha and Naomi for the title. So that's where I'm going with this one. Let's press on. We're going to get to some of the more anticipated matches and one that I personally am super excited about because it is a guy that I grew up watching on TV and a man who I think should have been in the main event of WrestleMania facing Brock Lesnar 
but unfortunately, WWE's booking is not as great as mine. And that is Johnny Knoxville versus Sami Zayn Samir. in a full count anyway match. Now, mm. I'm going to start because all of you guys are going to tell me two shreds on this one. I can get. I see he's got his pen ready. I already started to write. Sami Zayn is by far the greatest performer currently on that SmackDown. Right to take a terrible storyline with a celebrity and it was a terrible start to this whole thing and to make it into one of the best short-term bookings I have ever seen. Like, there's people that don't even watch wrestling that want to watch Johnny Knoxville wrestle Sami Zayn. And you have to point it down to Sami Zayn selling. No, no, Carl, shut up. Same. I'm talking now. Hey. <laughs> I saw that face. I saw that face. Just swap the fly. Yeah. It was a fly. Right. <laughs> say, Shut your mouth and know your role. Know your role. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. He seems very defensive. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's the air different. <laughs> former currently in WWE. There's nothing Sami Zayn can do that is wrong. I mean, his little time with Brock Lesnar proved how good he actually is. He's, his comedic timing is brilliant. His in-ring performances are brilliant. His heel work is possibly one of the best heel work at the moment. He's better than that other dude on AEW who claims to be the greatest heel of all time. I'm sorry, that Sami Zayn's miles ahead of that dude. Okay, All he does is talk on Twitter. That's what he does. It makes himself a good heel. Oh, look at me, I can post old stuff and just comment. No. Kill Sammy Zayn is the Sammy Zayn is the greatest kill currently. And he is going to beat Johnny Knoxville. He will, because he has to beat Johnny Knoxville in this one. Well, actually, no, wait, I'm gonna lie. Johnny Knoxville is gonna beat Sammy Zayn to go over because it's Sammy Zayn and he has to lose. But it's going to be a fun, brutal match. There's going to be a lot of props, I think, in this one, which are going to be, have throwbacks to the old jackass days. So I won't be surprised. You know, like, I think Jeremy can remember, like, remember the old Tom and Jerry cartoons when they had, like, those big fists that, like, punching bags that come out through the wall and, like, knock someone. No, no, yeah. you, now, now you're still, now, now you're in my head. I, I'm going to get to that. Don't, yeah, just wait. Just wait. I'll get there. Just wait. Okay, but something like that will happen in this match. It's going to be, like, a goofball type of match. I don't see it being a like proper, you know, wrestling clinic match. And it's gonna be a fun breakaway match. Johnny Knoxville for the win. Can I go next? Okay, it's, Carl, you go next. Carl's yeah. Carl volunteering himself to go I, next. It's because it seems like the three of you are so much more invested in this match than I am. So I'd rather just get myself out the way quickly. I have nothing to say about this. I'm probably going to skip it. Johnny Knoxville is going to win. Is this, is this the bathroom break match for you? Carry on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going outside. Maybe she doesn't to Johnny Knoxville. Carry you on. miss that. Yeah. So you've never watched any of the Jackass movies have, at all? I have. I have. I watched the Grandpa one. Bad Grandpa. So you have watched Jackass there? I watched Bad Grandpa. But you haven't watched Jackass there? No, exactly. Exactly. Is it Jackass? Bad no, Grandpa? No, 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 no. You don't know about Cisco Panda? None of those guys? Oxcart Racing? No. no. Jeremy, give me your thoughts. <laughs> okay. I watched um, the new Jackass movie came out, like, I think on Friday. So I watched it already. And uh, I that made me get very pumped for that. And that thing that you were talking about right now with the hand slap thing is in there. Yes, that's, yes. That, that's in there. And uh, probably one of my least favorite rappers is in that whole skit. With, with the hand slap thing, Machine Gun Kelly is is in that skit. Isn't he? Uh, he's doing the music for Two K Twenty Two. He just said, I just said Machine Gun Kelly and Jackass over here said legend, legend. Honorable member, withdraw your statement immediately. Did you just did you just use the word legend and Machine Gun Kelly in the same sentence? 
You said, and I quote, you said K-Fed earlier and you said celebrity. So you yeah. can't yeah. pull that one right now. Yeah, I don't come at you. There's a big difference between celebrity and legend. Hey. Okay. I am in the Hall of Fame. Does that make me? Does that make me a celebrity? I'm in a Hall of Fame package. In, in the Hall of Fame. I'm a WC champion. It doesn't make me. A <laughs> I was on, I was doing a show on a sports channel here in South Africa. I'm a celebrity. <laughs> do the do your tens of followers know what you're doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay, look, well, okay. <laughs> obviously, uh, look, Knoxville is going to win this match, but I see a ridiculous amount of spots coming up in this match. Like, I, 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 I don't think another celebrity, I don't even think Bad Bunny has done the stuff that Johnny Knoxville is about to do for this match. I just, the only thing that I'm going to say is, I hope everybody's going to be safe. I hope nobody gets injured in the long run. I know Sammy's great at Sammy Zane is great as what he's, he does and everything else. Extra points though, extra points is that at some point during this match, somebody that's generic, you would say L generic, puts a mask on at some <laughs> point. I hope. I do hope. I hope that, I hope that happens. <laughs> Kyle has no idea what I'm speaking about. You know who El Generico is? He's who Sami Zayn was before he was Sami Zayn, yes. Hey. <laughs> All right, Nashville, you must give us your thoughts on this match. Ooh, I have a lot to say. But what was your prediction for this match? Johnny no? Knoxville. Johnny Knoxville, okay, yeah. Okay, right off the bat, I want to say that my prediction is Johnny Knoxville for the win. But I have got a lot to say about this match. And you know what? Baz... You just made the list, okay? Because uh, you want to... I'm, I'm glad you didn't say Sami Zayn was going to win because then Jeremy was going to make you another tinfoil hat for you to wear when you go back up that 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 way, okay? So thank you for not saying Sami Zayn was going to win. And, um, yeah, this match is going to be a comedy match, in my opinion. It's not going to be your technical wrestling classic. It's going to be more of a comedy relief match is going to be a lot of good funny spots in this match i'm glad they made it in anything that goes because i honestly didn't want to see johnny knoxville versus sammy zane in a straight up singles match because let's be honest johnny knoxville is not a wrestler he's a celebrity so putting him with spots makes more sense i see jeremy getting upset but that's fine oh, no, no, no. I, I just i just thought of something but i'll let you finish i just thought of something and and I, I still don't know how Kyle can call Machine Gun Kelly a legend. Again, stop with the fly thing, okay? I, no, I saw what you did. No, there are flies around here. <laughs> he Sorry, has like guys. 10 dogs here, man. There's a lot of flies. <laughs> Eight. Eight. <laughs> yeah, so this is a good, it's going to be a good funny match, and Johnny Knoxville is going to win. And I just want to say something else. If anybody else out here, and I'm not pointing any fingers, but if anybody says... That MJF right now is not the greatest heel in the business today, not of all time, but right here, right now. They're just jealous of MJF because he's better than them and he's better than the best in the world, whether that be a, a rock star you could even or beat the a best in the world. Their best, he is, he is better than everyone and you know it. Thank you. He lost to the two best in the world. I didn't say, I didn't point fingers at you, did I? I'm just <laughs> saying, he lost to the best. In the Twice world in and Chicago. what he does. And he lost to the covering time best in the world. How is he the best in the world? He's better than the best in the world. And you know You it. can't even beat a 50-year-old man. And you know it. <laughs> <laughs> guys. Guys. Uh, there's one other thing that I'm going to point out in this match. They're still promoting the Jackass movie, right? Hmm. And it's a fault, and 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 it's a no hold bad match. I see the entire hey, cast of Jackass getting involved in this match. I see Steve, I see Preston, I see Wee Man. I even see those new guys the, that I have no idea what any of their names are. I apologize, but I Is see. Bam in the no, no, Bam's not. In there. Ah, he was always my favorite. No, I think Bam is, uh, is, is, is on a slightly different part at this point. I don't know yeah. any of those people are. 
I, I I would want to Are you serious? You don't know Jackass nothing? That's why we say you haven't watched a Jackass movie. Watch Bad Grandpa. If you don't know who Preston is at this point, anyway, time, here, here. Um, watch the movie. Let's let you all be. We can move on. It is the Raw Tag Team Championship match. We've got the Raw Champions RK Bro taking on the Street Profits and also taking on Shoes of the Academy. A thank you. A thank you. 4.0. <laughs> all right. Now, Wait, I'm just, a, I don't want to just say it. Yeah, I know who I'm going with. <laughs> We want the smoke. Isn't that what Dawkins does? Yeah. <laughs> Mix stirring stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> right. <Carl's version. laughs> I know who I'm going with. Yeah, street profits, man. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're gonna say? Just street profits, man. Yeah. There you go. Straight to the we point. Have, we have planned a certain part of this video. That was it. We want to smoke. <laughs> ah. All right, we've got Jeremy and Carl's prediction. Nashville, give us, give us your one on this one. I'm actually going to go with them, actually. I <laughs> see <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because RK Bro are going to break up at WrestleMania. This is it. This is what yeah, it's Randy's yeah. best friend, bro. I No, they're, they're going to break up. No, the they're best friends are on the other show. The best friends are on the other show. Not this one. That Randy Orton himself has gone on record saying that he doesn't play well with others. So it's inevitable. Randy Orton's going to turn on the the bro, and they're going to break up. Uh, Alpha <laughs> Academy, Alpha Academy have had their run. It's it's done. You know, look at this face. You know, let's. Um... <laughs> so. Just call me Otis. Yeah. What? I'm trying to. I'm trying to get Jeremy involved. It's called the Otis. No, 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 no. I, I called you Cam from One Family. Guys, <laughs> right. guys, guys. I will that never ever. Said earlier. And I mean, ever, ever <laughs> pick Otis to win anything, even if he's a shoe in to win things. I will never. With this match, I I'm going to predict predict Street Profits to win as well. Um, it makes sense all term booking, and then I'm going to predict Alpha Academy and Street Profits are going to have a feud moving forward. I must say though, and I'm going to put this out there as much as I don't like Otis, I've never liked him. I mean, it's part of heavy machinery. I didn't like him. Money in the bank. I'm not. I'm not like in the hatred level what Jeremy's at. That's like that's, nice that's like that's like me and Rihanna is Jeremy and Otis. They just hate each other. It's never going to happen. <laughs> but with that being said. I must say, this is the best version of Chad Gable that we have had in a long, long time. Shush, yeah. Don't get used to it. Shush, I yeah. Love Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. But I think... Thank you. But I think... I think Why would he play so much earlier? Yeah. Like, he's such a fantastic heel. I love him. I love Chris. I'm just put him out there anyway. Street Profits for the win. Let's press on to a dream match for some... A match that, uh, listen, I don't think we'll ever get to see in, in this lifetime. I, I honestly, yeah. if you told me five years ago this match was going to happen, I would have laughed at you. Yeah. It is Edge versus AJ Styles. Nash, let's go with you first because I know, I know you. I'm actually going to move away from you. Because that's how excited you are right now. Ooh. Is is Nash is Nash rigid with excitement? Yeah. <laughs> Just be glad you guys are over that side. You're not right. Not like him right next to me. He can't even stand to look at me right now. It's, it, God damn! I'm getting the same vibes I did when I saw Park versus Andrade at All Out. Because I just got to say it, and every time I have a dream match, you know I'm going to say it. It's still real to me. Damn it! All right. This is an awesome match. Edge, one of undisputed, I don't care who says what, undisputed, one of the greatest performers of all time. Not me, but one of the greatest performers of all time. Again, another one of the greatest performers of all time in Indian style. This is going to be match of the night. I don't care what anyone says. I could care less about a main event. This will be match of the night. Edge versus AJ Styles. Absolutely incredible match. 
And I mean, it's obvious who's going to win. For me, it's going to be AJ Styles for the win because I don't see why Edge would win or what would be the point. And, and for AJ Styles to beat Edge, it would give him so much credibility. But putting that all aside, yes, AJ Styles is going to be uh, is going to have some sort of world or maybe even United States Championship storyline going out of WrestleMania. I hope it's world title, but knowing that man, I'm covering all my bases. But coming back to this match, AJ Styles for the win, and this is going to be, and Nash said it first, you heard it here, five-star match. Nash ratings. Cool. Can you come up? Yeah, you're good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, cool. Um, let me give you my prediction on this one. I'm going to just jump in. So I agree with Nash. I think uh, I think he is right in saying it's going to be a five-star match. I 100% agree with you. I also agree with your victor. I think uh, AJ Styles is going to be the victor over this match. I think he, he has more to gain from this than Edge victory. Um, I don't think Edge desperately needs a victory. And uh, this is actually going to tie in with my... Next prediction, because AJ Styles will be the number one contender, plus even know him. There's another guy that we know might enjoy this match line, Peter. <laughs> Give a shout out to Pete. Um, Mr. T in a sensation. Yeah. I know you'll love this match. He's a big AJ Styles fan. So, yeah, we got this. Personally, I think uh, AJ is going to win this match. I think he will. It, it, I don't see Edge winning. I don't see Edge having a reason to win this match. Um, he's not going to be every night on the week weekly show. He's going to come back. He's going to have a little break, going to come back. You know, part-timer. I see AJ winning this. And I actually see this tying in to the main event prediction that I'm going to put out, which I'll tell you guys, man. I won't give it away now. But I do see AJ Styles at possibly Hell in a Cell or Backlash, whatever the next ones are, facing the winner of the other match for the title. I think AJ is ready for another title run. With that being said, Kyle, give me your prediction on this one. So, sorry, let this helicopter go past. Yeah, we got crime in our area. We got a helicopter flying like, over. It's like I jumped into GTA when I drove to. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I agree with both of you in terms of who's going to win. And and Nash, for your sake, I hope. That this is going to be match of the night. I really just. No, it's going to be. I hope that your expectations are not too high, and that anything that they do deliver isn't underwhelming. For me, my attention span, and I don't know if I share this with a lot of the people, maybe my age and ten years younger, but my attention span does not last long. Like so if a match, <laughs> so if a match goes half an hour and it's a classic. For me, it wasn't. For me, it was boring. It was long. I fast-forwarded through it. So I needed to be fast. I needed to be action-packed. I'm, and I'm being serious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm upsetting you. Michael so, WrestleMania 12? Come that's, on. That's literally what I was thinking so of. So when there was an Iron... That's literally what I was, was thinking Iron of. Man matches for an hour, I don't think I could have watched a full Iron Man match for an hour. And it went into extra time? Nah, man. That Randy Orton Edge match at WrestleMania, when was it? Whenever it was, was way too long for me. Way too long. And I have a, I am scared that this match is going to go just as long and it's going to leave a sour taste in my mouth about both AJ Styles and Edge. I do think AJ needs a win more. It's time this man is in the world title scene again. He's been missing way too long from it. Edge, Ed, intellectual Edge, let's call him that. Um can take a loss and, and rebound in a couple months after this. Um, but, but yeah, I hope, Nash, I hope for your sake that this is going to be match of the night and it isn't underwhelming when you do watch it. That's the only way I can explain that why you wouldn't enjoy a long match. I'm sorry, like, with these guys, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, I yeah. 60 minute Iron Man yeah. match is one of the greatest matches yeah. in the cool. history. You know what is good? Brock against Goldberg that went two minutes. That was quick. I like that. Can, can we have more of that stuff? Do you know who you're sitting next to? Oh, God. Do you, know, you open up a can of worms. I, I bet you Carl would give it Sheamus and Daniel Bryan the five-star rating for the 18 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Sure. That's seven stuff. Too long. Don't do it for me. Seven stuff. Okay, Jeremy. If you need to go off and you need to watch Bob Backlund versus Diesel, that's going to ah. light your world up for you. <laughs> He's the guy who won the first Royal Rumble, right? 
No. Oh, no, no. that's Exo. That's Exo. That's Exo. Yes, Jim Duggan. The guy who walks with the plank. There we go. <laughs> Make yourself useful. Anyway, AJ Styles is going to win this cup. And also one of the longest reigning WWE champions, was not he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on that graphic with Roman the other day. Guys, I'm I, I'm going to split a little bit from um, from you guys. Yes, it is going to be a match. It is it is going. I I I I actually feel quite bad for for Roman and Brock having to having to follow these two. Um, but yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. But um, I'm not I'm not going with Edge to win this thing or or, or Edge to lose it at all. Um. Edge just went heel, and he needs something to solidify that whole turn. If he's in, it's definitely that connection. Because mine is fine. Yeah. The sun needs to stop moving. <laughs> God, it's over one hour. And like new music and everything else. Can we talk about this music? Do people like this new entrance theme of Edge? What, from, what does it take away from from his character? You see, the thing is, I I, I look at Vess when I look at this new music because Vess absolutely loves Edge's entrance theme. Yeah. And as long as that entrance theme plays and people pop for it, he can't be a heel. There's no way you can be. As much as I dislike Goldberg, when Goldberg's music hits... Everybody knows Goldberg's on his way. He's a face. It's time to cheer. Real American hits. Everyone knows Hulk Hogan's on the way. It's time to cheer. The glass breaks. Austin 316 is on his way out. Everybody cheers. That's literally, that's the mole. If you Pretty smell him. The best I can give you is Tommaso Ciampa. Yeah. Okay. Yes. When yes. Tommaso was a face, yes. he, he, I loved his music. I loved the, the Black Heart song that he had. And then he was a face. When he turned on Johnny Gargano and he came out yeah. with all that heat in NXT, when he came out to no music, which is still one of the best entrances with no music. Yes. And then he got the proper Black Heart song afterwards. That was crisp. That was brilliant. And, and like Jeremy says, you can't have, you think you know me you and not you go yeah. crazy. You can't. You can't have the, that, that line hit and then if you expect it, 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 it like heel edge to come out. It's not going to work. Imagine, imagine hearing Viva La Massa and then having Eddie, heel Eddie Guerrero come out. It, exactly. it doesn't work. Yeah. Exactly. I don't think I, I don't think it would have worked. But wasn't Eddie edge. always a bad guy? Oh God, I forgot Kyle doesn't know Okay, anything. Before he had the Viva La Rasta song, he was a heel. Before. He was a heel and he did not have that song. He said Latino Eat song. Yeah. Latino! Yeah. Ooh. But he was still amazing. When he came out with China, with the Mama Sita thing, and his flowers. <laughs> you know, he was part of a tag team as well, right? Oh, with his cousin, or his uncle, actually. His nephew. Nephew, yeah, yeah. nephew. Nephew. Yeah, you know that he was part of the, the Guerreros with the Chavo. Chavo, not his brother. No, no. nephew. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Coming back to this whole edge thing, guys. I know. I I I don't know. I see. I I I, I, I and I don't know where they're gonna go with AJ just yet, but I don't see him in the title picture I'm just gonna yet. I'm gonna tell you where they're gonna go with AJ because we're going to our main event right now. It is the WWE Champion Brock. Lesnar versus the WWE Universal Champion, your tribal chief, Roman Reigns, for the unification match. So, winner take all unification match. I'm going to go straight in with this one because I'm telling you where it's going to go. We are going to get AJ Styles versus Roman Reigns. What? What? At WrestleMania? Wait, after, no. after Mania? You've been hanging out. You've been hanging out with Kyle too much. AJ oh, Styles is not even in this thing. Roman's going to be Brock Lesnar, guys. Roman is going to be a unified okay, okay, champion. Okay, People. Yes. Roman is going to beat Brock Lesnar. 
He's going to be the ultimate beast slayer, whatever they want. They're going to throw another name on him. He's the needle mover, the tribal chief, the microphone dropper, the panty dropper. I don't know, whatever he is. <laughs> they're just going to add another moniker on there. And he's going to be some ultimate beast cowboy slayer or something stupid like that. And you know it's going to have a T-shirt with it. I mean, he had a T-shirt that literally said, beat him, stack him, and pin him. That was a T-shirt that they made. Okay. He's gold. No, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if people are bored of him. I don't care if people don't want him as champion. Yeah. Roman Reigns is money at the moment. And it only makes 100% sense to keep a title on. Okay. Brock is going to be around. Brock is probably going to, he's probably going to be around till about Helena Sal, I guess, maybe another two months after this. In and around, you know. Um, he said he wants to be more committed to WWE, which is fantastic. I like this current Brock. I think he's, I think he, I don't think he needs a title. I think Brock should be there to help the younger guys over. And I do see him and Austin Theory having a little bit of a, a story going forward. I think the, there's a lot to, if you go towards Elimination Chamber with a whole Brock Lesnar f 5 ring him off a pod, yeah. I think there's a lot more story that they can pull out there. And I think it would be nice to see Austin Theory, like Vince McMahon, challenge him to pick the biggest guy or something, you know. They also still have the uh, Brock and Bro situation that they can always build up on as well. Matt Riddle and Brock Lesnar going through it. There's a, there's a lot Brock can do, which I don't think needs to be the world title picture. But I do see we haven't had AJ versus Roman at the moment. And AJ is a face. He is a very good face at the moment. He's over with the crowd. Roman is probably one of the best heels at the moment. Put them together. There's gold. Okay. I can't think of another current face to face either Brock Lesnar or uh, I suppose Brock's a face. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Brock's face. Yeah. I can't think of another face to face Roman Reigns at the moment. I can't think of anyone who is at that level that he hasn't beaten already. And when it comes to heels, the only one, if Brock Lesnar had to win it, the only sort of heel that could potentially move into that title would be someone like Edge. So like H. Brock Lesnar might be a, a decent match to watch. I think that would pass their prime both of them at the moment. Yeah. Or you could have someone like Seth Rollins or even Cody Rhodes if he comes back as a heel. I don't know. But yeah. I, anyway, I'm going with Roman Reigns on this one. I think he's going to become the you know a unified champion. You know, he, he he can't say that he beat Austin and The Rock in the same night to become an, a unified champion. But at least he can say he slayed the beast one more time to become a unified champion. That's where I'm going with this one. Roman Reigns. Let's go with Nashville on this next one. What are, you, what are your thoughts on this? So seeing as this is probably the last time I'll speak on the video, I just want to point everybody out. I am wearing WrestleMania colors in case anybody didn't <laughs> notice. And uh, I want to make it, I want to make it, listen, all of you. I'm not that I can't see. Nash, what color are you wearing? Sorry. Okay. What color is that? All of you to acknowledge me because I called it. All of you said no when I told you, and I said it, it's on record. Guys can go back and watch the last few YouTube videos. I said there was going to be a unification match at WrestleMania. I was right. And all of you, stop that bad. I, I called it first. That was my match. Uh, thank you. So coming to this match right now, I honestly, I don't see anywhere else where Roman Reigns could drop the title except for one of the big four. And if it's not going to be at WrestleMania, it definitely has to be at SummerSlam because his run has to end at some point. That's a you, what do you want? Bruno San Martino? Is that Why what not? you want? Why not? N no. Why not have a thousand day reign? I, I know. No. Because Roman Reigns will run through everybody on the roster and then we're going to have Wait, a repeat match. Yes. Yes. No, why are you look so confused when I said a 2,000 day reign? Because uh, in my head, I have the seven years, so I was saying seven times 365. <laughs> <laughs> you were doing match over here. Thanks, man. The you broke my broadcast partner. <laughs> the next I, podcast that we do together, we're going to have a whiteboard behind us, and we're going to be doing that as you guys talk. I think the next one, I need to come to Pretoria with you three, and we can all be together. I think on that, that's what we should do. And then Kyle needs to do Steiner mats. <laughs> 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 we have, we have solo cups. 
<laughs> so yeah, I I agree with Vels. There's a lot more that pro, there's a lot more you could do with Roman Reigns staying as a unified champion rather than Brock as champion because it really doesn't work with Brock being a unified champion rather than than Roman Reigns. So I'm going to go with a Roman Reigns win, but Roman Reigns will drop the title probably around SummerSlam because that's the only other logical place. You cannot have Roman drop the title at any other pay-per-view except the big oh, big five, actually. So, yeah, I'm going for a SummerSlam loss, but Roman Reigns will retain and will become the unified champion. And once again, just to make sure that everybody heard me, I called it first. Thank, uh, thank you. I'll, cool. I'll go next because I, I know what he's going to be predicting. because he, he I, I like the fact that Nash is so happy that he came first. It's like, okay, no yeah. problem. I don't mind. Jeremy, give us a prediction. I'll go next um, because I know, gonna go first. I know let, what, let he, Kyle go what first. he's going to be saying because he, okay. he mentioned it on in the night. Oh, yes, yes, so, yes, yes, yes. So go watch that if you want a, a little subtle hint as to what Jeremy is about to say. But um, firstly, Nash, yes, I acknowledge the fact that you have correctly came first. predicted came first. that we were going to get a unification match. I think that <laughs> no one wanted to, to stick to it. I think people had it in their heads, but no one wanted to put themselves behind it and say, yeah, all right, this is what I'm going with. So congratulations and um, cool. Moving on. Um, I agree. <laughs> Roman Ray. <laughs> is there flies there as well? Yeah. No. <laughs> Roman Reigns is going to win. Vass, I don't know why we're getting so ahead of ourselves and we're thinking about who he's going to be facing next. I, don't, I think at WrestleMania, I don't think they think what's happening the next day. I think they wake up in the morning and they're like, okay, what are we doing now? And, and that's what happened. So I don't think that they're thinking that far ahead. And that goes with pretty much every match that's been happening so far. Pat McAfee against Austin Theory. I don't think they care what the repercussion is. And then moving into this match, <laughs> Roman, Roman is going to win. I just want to say that I would really, really enjoy if The Rock came out at the end of this match. Whilst Roman and the Usos, because I, I think I'm the only one who predicted the Usos to win. Whilst Roman and the Usos and Paul Heyman are all standing tall at the end to close out WrestleMania, to close out this year that has been the bloodline. But The Rock comes out, hits his music, smacks the Usos around, Paul Heyman runs out of the ring. Rock bottoms the Ach Roman and we end WrestleMania on that note. On a cliffhanger, does this mean... Rock is challenging Roman X, Y, and Z, and 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 give us something. You don't mean Alexa Bliss? No, <laughs> this this is not her spot. She will she will have her main event spot at some point, but this is not it. Um, <laughs> we're yeah. just checking to make sure. This is, this is yeah. what we're, we're going. Jeremy. <laughs> Tell now, me what you think, Jeremy. Let me tell you why you're wrong. <laughs> okay, wait. He wants to smoke. <laughs> so, first of all, I'm going with Brock if it's not obvious already. Huh? Mm -hmm. The way they've been playing that clip from MSG, that Brock got dominated, Brock got punked and basically got his ass handed to him at every turn, basically shows that if we go from the way they booked previously, that the person that's been taking the most hits going into an event is generally the person that comes out on top. After. Right? That being said, I don't see The Rock coming back for anything else besides for a major. There's no way The Rock comes back for a SummerSlam yeah. or a Hell in a Cell or a Survivor Series. Any The Rock will come back for Mania season. That's it. That's yeah, but he's, he's not going to come back for a, a story or a match thing. No, no, for a Mania match. Yeah, well, I mean, he booked his match with John a year in advance. Why can't he do something similar? I don't know. I don't know. Because that means that that Roman then holds the belt for, for another, another year. year. Why not? I, I don't see that happening. Also, it takes for the predictability of him ever having a title match and losing it. And if they're going to book Roman. He's versus... going to beat Roman. Who's going to be a Rex Braun Schreiner. If there's anybody beside Brock, if Brock doesn't beat him, but this is how I see it happen. That's who's going to beat Roman Reigns. Alexa Bliss. Health collector. 
<laughs> I am going to get duct tape and duct tape, duct tape my co-host over here. If he says Alexa Bliss one more time, I've got blocks. I've got <laughs> no, but look, it makes more sense to me for Brock to win, for Brock to go over on Roman, and then for Lex Bronsteiner, whatever we're calling him at this point in time, I have no idea. Bron Breaker. For him to come in and actually, because he looks like the typical Vince McMahon guy. He looks like a Vince guy. So, so what you're saying is that Dolph is going to retain the title at Stan and Deliver, yeah. and then Bron Breaker is going to come out at WrestleMania or after WrestleMania and challenge. Brock Lesnar. Yeah, the guy who lost to Dolph Ziggler is going to beat Brock Lesnar. No, no, no. That's what he's saying. He didn't lose. That's what he's he saying. Didn't he didn't get pinned. He didn't get pinned. Man who has never match. actually wrestled on a live TV is going to come out and challenge Brock Lesnar. Tell me, tell me, you can't see Vince saying, look, damn it. He's never lost before. He's never been pinned. He'll come out. He'll beat Brock. That's a good shit. I think he, he, he called up Rich Holland, so maybe he'll call up Bob Breaker. Who knows? And he called oh, up Luke. Luke. Luke, breaky neck. That oh. guy. Breaky, breaky neck. That guy. That, that, that dude. Nah. On, on that uh, disappointing bombshell from Jeremy, the only <laughs> one picking Brock is now over Roman Reigns. Because that's some good shit, pal. Yeah. That's some good shit right there, pal. Oh, predictions there from Jeremy. <laughs> He's pulling off a Kyle, I think. But anyway, <laughs> my with that being said, <laughs> Cheers, please guys don't forget to leave your comments down below. Remember, tell us the punishment that you want us to do at the end of the season. Whoever is at the bottom place, Kyle, will have to do that punishment. Yeah. So let's see. What the best part is, you know what? The, can I just point something out before we go off? I'm last currently. <laughs> Nobody believes I'm going to finish this year as last. Everybody's no. like, no, he's going to come up at some point. AEW pay-per-views. We know he's going to just drop to the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> we, need, we need to get you to start watching AEW. No, I can't. <laughs> anyway, please don't forget to leave your comments. Please click subscribe and get notified of all our things. If you haven't done so already, please go watch number one as well. Like night one. By now, you should have watched night one because you probably be lost watching this video. But anyway, from me. Continuity. Nigel. <laughs> from me, your mother's favorite. Vaz, from our CEO of PWC Nashville, from our legal eagle, Mr. Show Me the Money, <laughs> Jeremy, his terrible predictions. And of course, <laughs> Kyle O'Reilly, Alexa Bliss's favorite demon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <Eliza. laughs> We've just come up with hey. we've just come up with Kyle's intro. <laughs> Alexa's favorite demon. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I need to do some horns for the next one. <laughs> Black goo coming out of the head. Ooh, that could work. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys, for watching. Please, guys, remember do all that stuff. We'll see you guys soon. Peace and chicken grease. <laughs>